There we go. This, I think it'd be funny to have that shot in the background. Okay. So, what are we doing? Yeah! Welcome back to Tech Hacks, everybody. It's been a minute, you know? It's, am I loud? Am I too loud? Okay, I'm just talking about. Don't put him on camera, but like, look at him. I'm distracting Dusty. It's been a hot minute since we worked on a project, so let's work on one. The project is putting $70 worth of computer equipment inside of a carryable briefcase. Searching for the right briefcase is pretty tough. Um, mine, as you might have noticed, isn't actually a briefcase at all. It is a Panasonic Omnimovie VHS camcorder case. We will need the latches, by the way. It's no, there's no point in putting a computer in a briefcase if you don't have the ability to close it. Where did I put my screwdriver? The test fit for all of this has been done. Sorry to shatter the illusion, but I know that all of this will fit. It all started with a dream. I should have demonstrated that this worked first, shouldn't I have? Probably. Should I do that? Did I put well, like I a screw. Disassembled. I think we we have. With it. There's, yeah, the, the, the audience will have to trust me that this works, but it does. Also, I suppose we haven't shown the key player and the biggest headache of this whole project. This freaking monitor with its VGA cable, actually take a look at this, it only has a VGA cable, like it goes straight into the monitor. This thing rocking a solid Intel Core Duo, it has two processors and they're both slower than heck, but it fits in the briefcase and that's all that matters. Get out of here. Power supply, which we've gone over, will go here. Uh, spinning disc will go here. Speakers will go here, I think. Um, I had to use one of those Lego part peelers, if you've ever used one of those, you ever make Lego sets at home. Also, this is gonna look really empty on the inside. No, it's not because Dell are super cheap. It's because I already gutted this thing once. I was actually super stumped for a while trying to figure out how to get all of this to fit inside of the briefcase. And I finally had my eureka moment if there's a Sharpie in here. Shouldn't put the full buttons on, but I'm gonna velcro the naked buttons on to the, uh, the briefcase here. Camera's heavy. Put it on a tripod. You want a good shot, Zeus. Yeah? You can take pride in your work. Are you gonna wuss out? For those of you wondering, I'm not still talking to uh, the previous camera operator. I'm talking to Hope, who is my uh, ride home. Wow. <laughs> That's heavy. Oh, that's zooming. Is it? Have you not been zooming? No. Oh. oh. Oh my god! Oh! Ah, holy balls! This thing goes close! Camera operator just discovered zooming. I don't know if any of the audio from this is gonna make it in the video. I'm gonna have to watch all of it back. Now, Hop, if you're ready for the moment of truth, because like none of this was tested at all before. Oh, I tested it at home, I just didn't test with these parts. Tell me if something explodes, by the way. Nothing is gonna happen. You just said head to head, just <laughs> First try, nailed it. I will take my check in the mail. All of my doubters, haters, and naysayers said it couldn't be done. <laughs> look at this, look how cool this is. So, I know it's not much to look at, but this project really is a proof of concept for anybody out there who has ideas about taking their computer on the go, maybe you want to go to LAN parties or you want to have a mobile workstation, something with higher end materials than this. Or if you don't want to spend the money on a laptop or don't want to 
spend the money on that kind of investment when you have an old desktop laying around. The project isn't that hard to do, the Velcro on the back is completely non-conductive so there's no danger to your electronic components, and it's just a whole lot of fun. Either way, you guys know where to find this show, I'll see you guys next time. This was Tech Hacks.